Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 21, titled Red Dawn, and what an episode. Easily one of the best episodes of the season. It was absolutely emotional to the core. I actually started tearing up at some point, and I'll talk about that point at which, when we get to it, but this episode just really worked, and just like the Red Daughter Origin episode, it really made you feel for you know, what could have been done, you know, throughout the rest of the season, because Red Daughter's coming so late, she's been so freaking good, but it's so late, like, ah, it's annoying, but anyway, so this episode was amazing, really looking forward to talking about all the plot points, because it teases a lot of us to come, and we get some great returning stuff, and some amazing scenes, so, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year, and over the summer. Okay, so we get these mid veil flashbacks in the episode. Isabella Vidovic and Olivia Nakarnan have returned, and you don't know the smile I had on my face. I was so excited seeing them return. What a great opening. So it's all about Alex questioning her memories, and we'll get to the revelation later in the episode, but we'll slowly build to that because there's bits we need to talk about first. But just seeing Isabella and Olivia back, because they really, really killed it last season together as young Kara and Alex, it was just such a great moment. I loved it. I had a smile on my face the whole way, and it obviously teased Alex sort of questioning what was right and what was wrong and you know her past and let's move on to the next bit so at the start of the episode we get to see red daughter with supergirl meeting for the first time it is amazing so you see like the red daughter logo starting at the opening of the episode rather than the supergirl logo which i thought it was very neat. They did that a couple of times so far. And so basically everyone has found out about Red Daughter. Lena's told basically everyone. And then we go to this confrontation whilst there is this interrogation going on between the wigged Red Daughter and Kara. And so Kara says, I'm not a villain. They have this really great interaction. I love how the whole scene was shot and how it was put together. It really convinced me that these were two separate characters, that they weren't just shot reverse shotting like with different characters, different actors, sorry. So, what an amazing scene, I loved it. And I love the dynamic between Red Daughter and Supergirl because they're similar, they have similar aspects. And as you see, Kara escapes because Red Daughter is weakened by the Kryptonite. She's barely ever been around Kryptonite and Kara's able to struggle through it and get out. You see the similarities, but also you see the big differences and it was just an amazing scene. Then we get this really sad scene with Kara starting to worry about Alex because, as you know, Red Daughter's out there and Red Daughter's, you know, in her full-on mission mode and she's crying and there was some blood right there. You don't expect that from Supergirl. That was kind of shocking. Like, I really liked it. I thought it was a great moment to show the impact of what Red Daughter could actually do to her. And also in this scene, it's revealed that Lex is working with the president. That's 100% confirmed. And we sort of suspected that after the end of last episode. Okay, so we go on to this scene. And this is built up from a prior scene with Alex actually seeing Supergirl in the DEO. We get this amazing really intimate moments between them and you start to feel that relationship coming back where Kara says she has this warm and fuzzy feeling and that kind of reminded me of when Kara and Monel were on the sofa and she talks about her feelings right there very similar language and I thought it was a great moment and I thought it was a nice little homage to that scene back in season two so a really great moment and it was shot very well just seeing Kara's perspective Okay, so they find out where Red Daughter lives, and this is a big part as to why I think the episode is really good, because you see Red Daughter sort of integrating into American life, into a life that Kara does. You can see that her apartment is pretty similar, it's not exactly the same, but she has copies and duplicates that try and make her blend into normal life and blend into how Kara lives, so she's essentially copying Kara. So we see a copy of Kara and Monel's rug, and that was exciting. I was like, oh shit, I literally shouted out, I was like, yes, come on. 
is just a great callback and there's lots of really nice callbacks especially to Monel but also to Rain in this episode with how the fight goes on at the end of the episode it's an amazing fight we'll talk about it in a second so there's some really nice homages we get a homage to season one when Supergirl first gets her costume you see the mirror shot she's in the mirror just a great moment sort of paralleling the two sides of her and you see she has a bunch of glasses and she's essentially been stalking Kara and from this apartment as Alex says later in the episode once she arrives you can see Kara's loft or Kara's apartment from this building so it's in downtown National City and she's done it on purpose so she could be near she's pretending to be Kara she's got that wig and you know we can infer that she has an everyday life where she walks around the street looking like Kara Danvers basically that's what we can infer and so as we move on we see that Supergirl finds out about Mikhail and he is obviously a big part of Red Daughter and why she's doing what she's doing because she believes that you know Americans killed him and so Red Daughter can see through Kara in a weird way and she obviously goes on to meet Eliza her official mum as you know Red Daughter is a clone but she doesn't really realize but she knows that it's Kara's mum so she goes to all the way to Midvale to her house Supergirl goes there and everything but we get this amazing scene where we see Red Daughter smiling in the freaking background what an amazing moment you just see that it's calling between Alex and Eliza saying oh Kara's here but Supergirl is obviously here with Alex and Kara's like oh shit and we're like oh shit and you see her smiling in the background and you're like oh my god what's gonna happen so Kara makes it to Midvale we see Kara versus Kara and we see just some really great interaction once again between them with her saying his name is Alex not Lex and so that obviously relates to the idea of her having her own Alex her having you know not our conventional Alex like we see as in regards to Kara's sister so we have this moment where she turns on her suit and she obviously has the helmet due to the Crips night and her getting weak and is not really explained but the effect of her putting a suit on is really cool it then leads on to the moment we've all been waiting for red daughter versus supergirl thank god finally it's here and it was well worth the wait it is definitely the best fight of the season it is very very reminiscent of the way they shot and did the mid-season finale fight between the first fight with rain and supergirl the lights go out because she has the howronel purple lightning sort of powers and everything turns dark and you know we get these slow motion fight moments and it's just really well done and it's in the darkness very much evoking the idea of rain and what happened last season and she is beaten to an absolute pulp just like rain did to supergirl very similar makeup effects she is just as powerful as rain because she's got the horror now and you know it's kind of very similar in terms of their powers as to what rain could do and what red daughter can do now so i really really love this scene maybe my favorite scene of the whole season but i'll talk about my actual favorite scene of the whole season that's probably definitely the best fight scene of the whole season for sure and we get this amazingly chilling moment i had surges of chills going up my spine because it was with alex remembering all it was so emotional and it really, really worked through a bunch of flashbacks with Isabella Vidovic and Olivia Nakanan as young Kara and Alex. And Alex in present day remembers all and she realizes, oh shit, I'm watching my sister about to die. What a great moment. That is the best moment of the entire season. And we move on just further into the sequence and it just proves the idea of how good this scene is because Kara is dying she is not breathing she's doing nothing Alex is absolutely desperate and she is freaking out and what a good scene she is there lying on the ground dying Alex is grabbing grass any sunlight there's no sunlight she can't keep her alive how is this gonna happen <sighs> oh my god so emotional I was on the edge of my seat sort of just holding my hands on my face Oh my god, I'm speechless over this scene. Let me know in the comments down below, did you have that same effect? Because that was just so touching and so emotionally connective to me. And it was just like seeing them back together, seeing her remembering in such an impactful way. 
I'm fine that she hasn't been able to remember because we got the scene now. What a way. And we bring back those flashbacks, we bring back the young actresses. Just brilliant. I absolutely love it. I can't say it enough. I can't stress it enough. And so then it leads on to Kara as she pulls the sunlight and we get a little bit of hope and you see the beauty of what actually happens in this final shot of the scene beautiful it looks like a fairy tale the lights come in they come and absorb the sunlight into supergirl and she is able to survive okay all right past my sort of rambling and stuttering because i'm like so speechless over that scene okay let's talk about the ending of the episode so we go to a report and we see in Kaznia that Lex Luthor is right there. He's in the Lexo suit. Obviously, they didn't show him, but he's in the suit. And he's killed Supergirl, as they say, but she's in the Red Daughter suit. But it's Red Daughter. So is Red Daughter dead? I think there's a chance. But I think there's a high possibility that because of the previous scene where she sort of questions herself. I'm not sure what happens in her helmet, but she sort of questions herself. As you see in one of the shots where she sort of looks up and she just looks down upon Kara and Alex and Alex just freaking out over what's happened and she just looks at the aftermath and the pain that she's caused Alex and she wouldn't like that to her Alex. So I think she's questioning herself and so it seems like Lex has killed Red Daughter. So what is happening? Is she actually full on dead? Because it looks like it's her because she's in her suit and... She's got blood all over her mouth, or are they faking it? I think Lex could be faking it. I know it's part of the plan, but I don't think Lex is going to kill Red Daughter. I don't think that makes very much so sense. So, am I wrong? Am I being too optimistic that she will return next episode? But nevertheless, I'm super excited because it was a very interesting ending scene, and I do like the scene. I'm just not so sure if I think they should have killed Red Daughter off like that. So, we'll wait and see. I'm so looking forward to next episode and just quickly we have these various moments of the episode where Brainy sort of malfunctions and he becomes more like the other versions of Brainiac in the past, the more evil versions and so he sends John and Nia off. That's going to be happening next episode and they go through the portal where if you remember the start of the car scene back in season 2 with mon Kara, when they were going to the other planet and they saved a bunch of prisoners, that was a nice callback. I told you there's tons of callbacks, tons of rain callbacks, but lots of mon as well. Lots of those moments between Kara and mon -El. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Also, I will be at some events very soon. I'm going to the Ultimates this weekend, so be sure to say hi. That's in Birmingham. Kyla Lee's going to be there, Floriana Lima, and Nicole Maines, among other people. So I'm going to be there. Also, I'm at MCM London Comic Con in a few weeks. Stephen Amell's there. Tyler Hoechlin's there, who plays Superman. Very excited for that. Also, I'm officially going to San Diego Comic Con this summer. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm flying all the way from London to San Diego. Going to see Melissa going to see Grant Gustin, going to see everyone. I'm so excited. So be sure to say hi if you see me at any of those events. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.